It's Wednesday. That's me! Jinami leaps into the dining room noisily. You star are star late! What, was that supposed to be American? <laughs> I think I'll brew myself some American coffee now. Because you got up later than me. How much earlier did you sleep? How much earlier did you wake up? <laughs> then sleep 20 hours earlier. The day before yesterday, Chinami slept an hour earlier to get up a minute earlier. I guess this plan fails. It's your fault for not conf conforming to common sense. Sorry. Enough already. Sit down and start eating. I reply with a yeah, yeah. Though it's true that she's getting up earlier, even if it's little by little. The day when Chinami makes breakfast might actually come at this rate. I should start working on an escape plan. Ah, so so. After lunchtime, the boss carries ISD over during our break. いいきれる理由とか、ペンダントとオルゴールの関係は話してくれなかったけど。ちゃんと会ってきたんだ。ひばりこで補修をしているとwill he fix it? とりあえず預かって状態を見てみるそうだよ。状態だったら何度も見てると思うんだけどな。でも彼も驚いてたよ。バラバラになってることに。うん。さらに壊れたんだもんね。Sorry, I'm do you know why the former advisor was reluctant to fix it? That's what I was wondering myself. The boss falls deep into thought. I notice a difference in tone when the boss said teaching. Not part of the conversation, Shinami asks inquisitively. テンクルにオルゴールが置いてあったんだけど、壊れてるから直そうって話だよ。オルゴールならチナミも持ってますよ。ヨウちゃんから聞いたよ。小学生の時にヨウちゃんと一緒に作ったんだよね。はい。チナ
The baseball club again? And not Aoi-san? <laughs> we were mistaken once. I'll say this now, but don't go asking Aoi-san even if you want to know more. She sure is. So don't you go taking her out at night. Asoho carries the drink over and joins in the conversation. So you came to ask Chinami? Asuka fill us in on the details first. He replies, sure thing, with a smile. ゆべ、野球部は遅くまで練習をやっていた。その何人かが部活が終わってから校舎に入ったんだよ。トイレを借りたかったみたいでな。部室棟にもあるけど、野球部って人数多いから、列ができちまうわけだ。それで、そいつ
虫の逆襲だねでもでも次までには新しいの買っておきます今月中にお兄ちゃんからお小遣いもらう予定ですから Only if you finish your holiday homework, can you do that? それは愚問だよお兄ちゃんちなみ予報ではそろそろ妖精さんが現れて手伝ってくれるからね I imagine her panicking on the last day もう時間だなみんな心の準備はいいかちなみはいつでも万端です So you want to get in early and get disappointed and go home early, huh? 校舎の窓から眺める星空も格別なんだよもう張り込みの邪魔しなけりゃ何でもいい話すときは声落とすようにしろよ言われなくても分かってるよ We sneaked in quite a number of times already so we are used to it already Apart from these tests of courage, I've been here with Azoho to retrieve the telescope from the club room and also with Aoi stargazing on the rooftop. Though it's really worrying that I have yet to be caught by the guards. Well, there's only one place one would think of. The same route we used last time. We start walking down the corridor whilst paying attention to our own footsteps. The school affairs office and the security guard booth on the ground floor side, we don't find anything unusual. We head to the first floor next with all the specialist classrooms. This floor is where the problem is. <laughs> It's from a classroom further down. We've suddenly hit bingo. But I don't hear any piano. The one who has that role, Aoi, isn't here, so it doesn't feel like a test of courage at all. Well, logically speaking, wouldn't it be someone from the Wind Ensemble who is here to pick up something they've forgotten? We hurry while trying to keep our footsteps down. It might even be a security guard, so be careful. そっと覗くしかねえだろうな部屋から誰か出てきそうだったらすぐ逃げるぞ逃げ足の速さは自信ありますから任せてください As we approach the club room with the light seeping out we all realize that we are wrong 音楽室じゃなかったのか It was in fact the multimedia room of the Tenkuru's club room The music room was right beside ours We were looking at it from far away so it was easy to get mixed up Maybe Okaizumi Senpai is getting something he forgot? It's laughable when you think about it. Either way, we have to take a look for ourselves. I grab onto the sliding door. I gently slide the door as everyone clings onto it. The lights in the room suddenly vanish. That caused quite a fright. Sounds of a door opening. It's not on our side, it's probably a door on another side. Out of the corner of my eye, I notice a shadow down the corridor. Silence follows and no sign of movement. They didn't notice us? It's a miracle that no one made a sound for if it's a security guard, we'd be playing a game of cops and robbers right now. I can't see the face. Not only are they far away, there's little starlight passing through the windows tonight. Uh. Ah, Twin Tails! Hey, that's a den, isn't it? We hold our breaths. I was afraid that the two in the Okaken who thought they were seeing aliens or Grim Reapers would give us away in excitement, but they remained still like me. Asuho, on the other hand, looks lost. The sound of footsteps. Sound, finally. I don't know if the shadow noticed us or not, but it walks off. It seems to be heading directly for the stairs. And who's that? 
and as if chasing after the shadow, one more appears from the club room. There were two? I can't see the face like with the other shadows. This shadow was tall, one was short, they'd look like parent and child if you placed them side by side. After we hear the sound of the door shutting, the two disappear. We lose our strength after confirming they've gone down the stairs. Why are you counting them using head? I wouldn't be surprised if a war broke out instead. They are not security guards, that's for sure. They didn't seem to be catching students sneaking in at night. The two run towards the staircase where the two shadows disappeared. The two disappear before I get a chance to warn them they are going to get caught with their loud running footsteps. Why don't we check out the club room? They might have been thieves. We enter the club room. We keep the lights off to not attract attention. The starlight is dim, but it's not completely dark, so we manage to find our way around. Aso heads straight for the storage room next door. There is no sign of them having broken in. After confirming everything's alright, I follow after Asoho. Well? <laughs> what about everything else? <laughs> so they weren't thieves. It didn't seem like it. They seemed calm. She has a point. Was it a coincidence or was Asoho's speculation correct? I know that I tried my best not to make any sound when opening the door. Even if I did, the timing was too perfect for them to turn off the lights after hearing the door open. If Asoho's speculation is right, that would mean they noticed us before we were about to peek inside the room. If that was Mayor, she could have remained invisible while she observed us walking down the corridor. Well, the shadow did look like Mare, but Mare doesn't have twin tails. One of them was short, though I'm not sure if they're as short as Mare. Though there was another one. She said that she didn't have a family. I don't know if it's true or not. The name Mare itself is an alias. Let's go, I'm worried about those two. We leave the club room. We find them in front of the entrance and return to the school gates. I'm glad you two didn't get caught. Asu was worried about you, so what's with that attitude of yours? Which means these activities will continue and I'll be stuck with protecting Chinami. Right. Then share some of that enthusiasm with me. We'll go on a different day, there might be other witnesses, so it might not be too late to gather some more information. He figured out. Later then.
The three of them head down the hill. I was the only one who went up instead. I found you, Mare. What's wrong? It's true that I am later than usual. Sorry for making you wait. I was at Hibariku on a test of courage just a while ago. Do you know what a test of courage is? Unlike last time, I didn't see you. Really? If Mayor didn't go to Hibariku, that shadow must have been someone else. There's something I want to ask you today, Mayor. Mayor, you can hide your appearance, right? And you said you didn't know the mechanisms behind it? If you hit yourself, would you still be able to move around? Remember the time you disappeared and reappeared behind me? She hit me with her scythe afterwards. Did you teleport, or did you walk behind me while you remained invisible? So you can see me while you're invisible? I really want to know how she does it. The reason we can't explain it is due to the negligence of modern science, that's what Kosama said. So we'll find out one day, it's probably no use obsessing over it right now. Is this what makes me a nerd? Nope. No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, during our test of courage, you see... We might have run into a relative of yours. I knew you'd say that. I don't know. She has a point. Mary looks restless. You want to go to the toilet? <laughs> That's so convenient. She continues talking while looking displeased. It seems like this has been on her mind. It's currently being repaired. I don't know yet. Don't put on such an angry face. It'll get fixed, so don't you worry. <laughs> I know already, so don't raise your scythe. She turns around swiftly. Alright, good night. Hot, 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 hot. Say it yourself, don't make Kabo do it. Three times this time? There's an extra one in there now. Mea walks off with Kabo perched on her head. They disappear into the shadows. I'm going to have to show her the Kaleido organ again. Otherwise she'll remain in a bad mood. This annoyingly loud voice? You came looking for me? Sorry about this. Chinami <laughs> morning. Have I no choice but to kill you? What? I also sleep late. How about getting up earlier than me under the same conditions? No wonder you're not growing. I flick her forehead. Let's go, I don't want to make everyone wait. Chinami <laughs> grabs onto my arm. Let go of me. Everyone's going to see. We walk off together noisily like always. <laughs>